Let's talk now about one of the fundamental tools of our robotics kit, which is the touch sensor. And let's look at how they've changed and, and improved the EV3 touch sensor. Uh, I'm going to show you just uh, for comparison. This is obviously the NXT version. And if we look, you can see that it still has a square function or the square overall shape. Um, but if you look at the side of the button, you can see the, a little bit of difference in the slope. And I think that's going to make a little bit of a difference in the way that it actually functions. If we have things that are actually moving across that, that should make a little bit of a, an improvement in the way the function of that uh, sensor actually behaves. And again, we have uh, some of the same features that have been added to all of the uh, EV3 sensors. You can see that we have the cross hole that allows for a very efficient uh, manner of building and capturing motions with that single cross axle. We have the ability to build around frames and uh, attach on either side of that, um, that connection point, which should uh, allow for a more efficient building. Um, but let's talk about some of the improvements that I'm really excited about, even though it's just a touch sensor, is the fact that now we've moved from a, uh, effectively a digital touch sensor to a now an analog sensor, which with some of the advanced features of the software will allow us to not just detect whether the sensor is pressed or released, but now detect the degree of touch which for some of the advanced users is going to be a major improvement in this very fundamental tool that we have in our robotics kit.